What's up, comic book lovers? And today's review is Venom number four. This is a book I've been looking forward to actually finally reviewing. Um, before that, let me go ahead and let y'all know that later today I will be uploading my uh, comic book pickups number three. And I will most likely be going ahead and reviewing Gunslinger Spawn number four. And then I want to let y'all know that I am going to be reviewing all the previous issues of Gunslinger Spawn on top of reviewing uh, some of the original, like, the other Spawn stuff that I haven't reviewed just yet. Um, and then we'll be going on to reviewing uh, the current Batman run. I want to review 118 and 119 before 120 comes out. But anyways, let's actually get into this book. So, this book is written by Ram V. Now, if I remember correctly, the first three issues were written by uh, Al Ewing and Ram V. But it doesn't show that Al was, in, written, was part of this book. But uh, this is a book that, again, I was looking forward to. Um, it's one of my, I want to say it's one of my favorite books. It's a little bit different because uh it, it 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 goes where donny kate's run ended and like i haven't finished donny kate's run yet um i'm waiting for volume three's hardcover to come out i've got the first two and i still need to read king of black as well uh if y'all want me to read all that and then review it i will um anyways so let's get into it so before i start talking about the plot or anything i want to say that the artwork in this series is actually really good it's uh not the best but it's just really good so the plot to this issue it, it leaves off from issue three where uh why did i forget his son's name um so eddie brock's son dylan dylan brock was captured and betrayed by a girl named archer and they were they're pretty much prodding him and the venom symbiote's actually sitting here looking for him uh so uh, he's sitting there searching for eddie or not eddie dylan brock and he's being attacked by a guy in a suit. I don't know who that is. Um, so, but they're sitting here thinking that the uh, Venom symbiote is actually transforming. And like turning into something else. So here, you know, obviously where they are prodding Dylan Brock. Um, I'm trying not to be super biased towards this issue. Because I, I mean, I literally just read it right before I recorded this review. Like I haven't even gathered my thoughts. But, uh. So you have this, uh, she, she's part of the whole testing thing. And, uh, so he's attacking the symbiote. And then this guy decides that's enough prodding at the Venom symbiote, uh, for today. So they let it go, which is a huge mistake. And, um, so we see that, uh, man, I don't know exactly what I was about to say. So we see Sleeper here. He's like the little cat. And they're talking about uh, Eddie Brock here. And we can see the symbiote right here busting through. And eventually we see actually see Eddie here. Now, in case y'all don't know, Eddie is kind of weird because everybody thinks he's dead. But he's like with some Celestials, I want to say. Uh, but, you know, Eddie is currently the king in black. So, which is going to be interesting to finally read when I, I do get down to it. So, he's talking to, uh, to Dylan, talking about the Venom symbiote being one of the... The Venom symbiote and Archer being one of the few things that he can trust. Uh, but Archer, you know, betrayed him. And he's like, things are different. I'm trying to... Uh, I can fix this. Just trust me. And then, again, we see Sleeper. And the cool thing is, I really thought this was really neat. So... Dylan gets out, thanks to Eddie, and he goes and he cracks this doctor over the head with a fire extinguisher, and they're all pointing his guns out. It's like, hey, we can, like, help you or whatnot, and then we see the Venom symbiote actually, like, leaking through, and this is where we get the confirm confirmation that the Venom symbiote is actually changing, which is insane. Um, so... After that, we go, and it looks like we're talking to the bad guy. Like, ooh, he's all mysterious and bad guy-like. And he creates this thing, and it was like, scare the child a little bit. And that's where the issue ends. 
and then we get the next issue is issue five with with power ranger man i'm not I'm just kidding uh then we get this advertisement for carnage forever number one which is really gonna be really cool so i'm excited for that anyways if i sound a little different uh i've been coughing for like an hour straight so my throat hurts anyway so uh i liked this issue I, I feel like the venom this venom run is starting off and it's just like building up like it's just constantly building and like there's i like the fact that the character development's been pretty good uh hopefully this archer person's not like a a total a total butthead um i really hope that she ends up being a good person but i mean if you read issue three uh then you know she betrayed dylan anyways uh so this issue for me it gets a eight out of ten as most books have recently been getting um and if y'all want me to review the first three issues i'm again i'm totally down uh i'm planning to do my first uh graphic novel review soon uh, i'll let y'all know the details anyways so eight out of ten uh tomorrow's or not tomorrow's today's videos will consist though it should be three three videos the comic book pickups and then the gunslinger spawn number four review um I'll, I'll, after that uh we'll see what the next day brings anyways um uh, hope y'all keep watching uh like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all next time